Okay, um, I've been doing a bit more work on the on the base plate for this baby bullet. Um, what I did, uh, since I don't have a um, vertical mill and I needed to take this little slot out here, I don't have many cutters from an enormous Cincinnati mill. Um, I'm not mad keen on this type of thing, but I did it in the lathe tool post. Uh, welded a bit of bar there to a bit of uh, flat plate, the same plate that I used for this. And this gets bolted onto here, set up true and parallel and on centre height in the lathe. Um, and this slot gets cut. So uh, that's what I'll show you. That's what I've been doing today. Base plate. Uh, I'm just setting up my boring tool in the chuck. Initially on centre height, uh, so when the chuck jaw is horizontal, I'm on my centre height gauge. Now I'm going to set the uh, set the, the radius that's going to bore. Now I know the radius of my uh, the diameter of my tail stop quill. Theory, I should be able to wind that to a fixed distance out from there, as long as it's not too far off centre in the chuck. Cut a radius. But, uh, we'll see. For an eighth of an inch here. Now I'll bring you back in a minute when it's set up and uh, see what happens. Okay, this is my setup based on the radius of my quill here. Boring bar tip extended. A certain amount there. And this is not the most accurate way, but it should be good enough for this. Um, I've got it with these jaws horizontal, the tool is on centre height. Now, let's just see if we've got clearance. Machining here, I'm not keen on this sort of setup, but um, I'm going in the conventional direction with a boring bar. The tool post is designed to take tool pressure in a downward direction. I'm not really doing anything savage. I'm going to be taking very light cuts, but I need to know that I've got clearance when this bar is. Yeah, it should be okay. Clearance to rotate, clearance to go all the way to the end and that and parallel I have set this parallel uh, with a DTI uh, against my lathe axis so and there's plenty of room for the tool to clear the whole damn bolts Let's see if I can take a very light cut across there. Oh, one way to find that.
sounds quite happy. That didn't go too badly. Uh, well, I know it's, just, it's fairly parallel, but it's low relative to this, or high relative to the centre hole. Um, I set the centre hole up on centre height, so I don't know quite how that's happened, but it is easily adjustable uh, with a little measurement and raise the tool holder. So that's what I'm going to do before I take the next cut. on. Um, I tried to do a little fusion weld just like Tom Lipton did and uh, that's actually worked really well. So I've got some filing and dressing to do and uh, yeah I think you're looking quite hopeful. Uh, I guess the next bit to make is a little bit that goes in there. That's looking good there. This is not the actual piece I'm going to use, well maybe I'm not sure this is dead on size so it doesn't give me any scope to true up the um, OD but I might just polish it and see what it's like it wouldn't matter if it had some little rust bits in it it's supposed to be replicating a casting so um, I'll see how that looks uh, in fact, I think I showed you I've made this this like core part and the retainer actually cheated slightly here. I made these two parts in one go by uh, boring here to the diameter of the retainer for about a quarter of an inch, drilling these about a quarter of an inch deeper, uh, making the whole thing a quarter of an inch longer, and then I had an eighth here and an eighth gap for my parting tool and just parted off this bit. I guess as I say I've only got a drill press, I haven't got a vertical mill and it gives me a good chance of aligning all the holes accurately because they were drilled all in one go. Um, it's not an excuse, I should be able to measure and centre punch and do it accurately in a drill press but I just thought it might save a bit of time. And that sort of worked. Um, yep. Um, really starting to enjoy this project and I hope uh, maybe someone will enjoy the vice when I've finished and yeah uh, hope I can finish it and I hope I can achieve a reasonable standard it won't be as good as Tom Lipton's but it might be acceptable 